hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel and of course you're back for another segment of don't be telling my business what are you telling my business basically because it's scandalous and it was marvelous and a derailment of an episode tonight on Portia's family matters uh trying to call herself having a blended family well i'm gonna tell you this and i ain't gonna tell you no more this is a complete disaster, okay? I'm hoping we're coming up next Sunday for the last episode because I told y'all this was a train wreck. Honey, the train just derailed completely off the tracks and it's nose diving and it's going to crash and burn. Trust and believe it's going to crash and burn come next sunday okay i don't understand why portia trusts this man right here he is evil incarnate i don't care what nobody say y'all can get on my social media he ain't caring about blending no family with portia and dennis he only looking out for himself and if i was dennis i wouldn't have pj around that joker for nothing because if it is a certain thing of him putting a spell on Portia who's to say he wouldn't put a spell on his daughter I would not have that joker around my child period and point blank Portia is just crazy and everybody is laughing at her everybody is laughing at her they're not even pitying her anymore because her arrogance her stupidity it comes from her family on her mother's side and on her dad's side and I have the proof to tell you from my opinions of watching the show. Girl, you got Kenya laughing at her. All right. You got Kenya. You got her assistant, Lauren. All right. Lauren. And Dominique or Dom, her previous assistant, laughing at her. You got her sister, half sister, however you want to look at her, who's still kind of salty. That she don't have the limelight as Portia has. I peeped that too. And you got Candy Burris laughing at her. Like she should. You could have had a better storyline with keeping your mouth shut. And rolling with me and Todd. And that dungeon thing. But you, you know you derailed on that one too. And you got this bunch of a mess right here. You got Dennis laughing at her. You got Eva laughing at her. You got Cynthia saying a prayer for her. You see what I'm saying? Everybody. It's in this mess. And look, lo and behold, we got Nene laughing at you. Because you got your family out here looking at all kinds of craziness. And yes, Kenya, it was funny at some points. However, child, what? Kenya is thinking of Portia Williams right now. And y'all can look at the screen and it's just breaking it down for you. And she's doing that for her man. All right. And Cynthia, she's trying to, you know, how you call it, um, play both fences, but she can't even rationalize it. And then Phaedra and Nene don't hooked up laughing at her and this sitcom she got us looking at. Just embarrassing the hell out of her family. And Tammy Roman, she like, girl, are you serious? You think this make good television? You think that's going to put you at the top? Even Baby Riley was like shaking her head like she's going to need me to represent her one day. I'm like, Riley, go represent her. She needs some help. And, of course, Lauren is feeling some kind of way. And she ain't being truthful with herself on this show. <coughs> and, of course, Candy and Todd are looking, allegedly, like, girl, you making a fool out like yourself. We ain't even had an OLG ladies looking that bad. Okay? They pretty much was on their toes and cussing us out. But it seems like your family, they don't give a shit. They telling your business, they business, and the world business all in one. And all of them look like they need some serious therapy. Especially your mama's sister, Darlene, going around there doing all that hollering. Like she had demons in her, or she was drunk as hell. Or she just wanted camera time. But it didn't make her look good at all. And your, your, your family from the Real Housewives of Atlanta just laughing their asses off at you. And even Andy Cohen is getting a piece of this laugh. And he put you up to this. Did you not check? 
to see how things was faring. But no, I don't think they even told you about how they was going to edit you and make your family look like trash. Because that's basically what they did. They made you look like trash. They made your whole entire family on both sides look like trash. Because it seems like they wanted... Well, let's just get into it. Okay, the, the parts that I just didn't like about it. And how they spun it so badly on you. <sighs> let's see here. Just so many pieces I had to just break down on this particular episode. It just gave me a complete headache. It really did. I was like, where is my anxiety medicine? Okay. I need to take a few pills. Because this whole thing has upset me. Even though they probably getting paid royally. Hopefully they are. Because they definitely have, to me, damaged their brands. Damage their likability out in the world. But let's get on into Elizabeth. Jose Williams sister. I mean daughter. Okay. That's her husband. And her last name is some kind of African name. I, I don't want to mess it up. But it's not Williams. So it's probably hyphenated Williams. Oh, We'll just do it like that. You can tell that she did not step in. When her brother Portia Williams daddy. Left the family to go be with somebody else, which was Lauren's family. You could tell she did not step in as an aunt and try to uh, raise her in the uh, Jose Williams family. You know, their legacy, their activisms, their uh, marching for what's right. You could tell she did not have a good relationship with them. And maybe they saw Diane, Portia's mom, as an opportunist, as a slut, as a whole. And rightly so, they should have because it don't seem like she did anything of value when it came to raising Portia. Because Portia is complaining that she wanted to commit suicide when she was young. She wanted to um, be in the um, uh, modeling or music industry. And, you know, <laughs> she, it, it, you know, it got me tongue-tied. Because you see the the end result we got. Portia doing this kind of shit on TV. And I blame Elizabeth. Jose Williams' uh, daughter. Because that was her brother. Portia Williams' uh, dad. Why she couldn't step up. Where her brother left off. Or dropped, you know, the ball on. Why couldn't she introduce Portia. To all of her family members on her dad's side. Because her ass sat up there and said... At the table where they were eating. She didn't know who she was looking at. Because these folks ain't, ain't family. She was talking about Lauren. She was talking about uh, well, Lauren the assistant. And Dom the uh, past assistant. What the hell they were doing there. And I, I was questioning myself. And I was like. And what uh, else they're doing there. She didn't have to be on TV. Because Diane wasn't even there. And she's supposed to be friends with Diane. And not Portia and what was going on. But you know like I said. Portia was drunk when she sat up there and signed this contract. To try to put. You know, this show together and talk about she wanted to blend families. Nah, you don't need to blend families. You need to get your shit right with whoever you are calling yourself shacking up with, marrying and whatever. Make sure y'all good. Make sure your future husband going to co-parent right and he gets to meet your daughter, his stepdaughter soon. Dad, that's the only blendedness you need because... You don't need to put all your family up in here and they issues, their problems, their concerns and showing them just like trash on the show. Which going to make us, if we saw them in public, like why did you get on that show and display this, that, and the third? You know what I'm saying? You got uh, Portia Williams' um, um, aunt on her mama's side. Like she want to howl to wolves or something. Just howling. Just howling. Just, you're just cutting up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm like, damn, did demons get in her? Because she shouldn't have been down there in that cave anyway. The man told you it was lost souls down there. It was a graveyard of past people. What are you doing over there? And then I'm mad at Elizabeth. Because she's supposed to be such a Christian. Why are you diddling in that hoodoo voodoo such stuff? You know what I'm saying? You have your way of living and your uh, religion to be a part of. Why are you over here diddling dabbling in witchcraft and all this other stuff going on? This other spirituality, spirituality type form going on. You can't. you double minded Elizabeth. you double minded girl. And I'm like, I'm questioning who you are at this point and what you stand for. Because you had to release your demons talking about, oh, I had to release my anger because of, of what was done to me in the civil rights movement and, and how, what stuff I had to go through. Uh, and I need all that, the ghost of my past to, you know, I'm like, girl, 
Girl, okay, I get it, got it good. Did you think about Dr. Martin Luther King's children? What they had to go through? And I know everybody's trials and tribulations is kind of different. But I'm like, we ain't see you wrote no book telling that theory out. Okay, but now you have all these ghosts. And you sitting up there in a ghost grave with water surrounded, swimming in the water. Like, you probably got some ghosts and some demons attached to you now. And you're going to have more words to be worried about. I'm like i'm sick of you at first i had so much respect but i don't now i don't but first of all you came on this show i'm thinking you're gonna be something positive and you sitting up there on the show time i don't know you who are these people like you got dementia did you get alzheimer's girl did you get alzheimer's quick and we didn't know and you had your medication to take to bring you back to the zone i was like totally disappointed in her about her religion, about who, you know, she's saying she ain't family with. Then talking about, on one hand, she was just on a family she know at this table in London. I said, why? Because London is a part of your side of the family, Elizabeth. The hypocrisy is really real. Why the hell are you there is what I'm asking. Did they promise you a check to go into the whole thing, uh, feed the hungry organization? And that's why you were there. You needed the extra money for that or you just wanted some money for yourself? Or did you want some showtime? Come on, tell me the truth. I'm trying to figure it all out. Because you're making yourself seem like you way on this totem pole that's so high that you're looking down at Portia Williams and her mother's side of the family like they're dirt. They're, they're uh, gone beneath your shoes and your family shoes and you don't need to be a part be in anywhere near them or participating in any functions with them because they are not on your uh your standard your higher level of consciousness as well as your legacy as well as being a socialite i'm like girl shut up sit your ass down that was your dad out there doing that stuff and just because you were part of his family he was instrumental in educating y'all on discrimination, racism, and how it affects the majority of uh, lower income class people and uh, people that are of the brown persuasion, the melanin, the black folks, okay? So sit your ass down, okay? I'm just, I was just sick of her, y'all. I was just sick of her and her righteous attitude that need to be sick. Oh, she need to do what would crack her ass, too. Okay, but I'm going to get off of her because, like I said, she was a total disappointment. And then she's going to say, uh... I'm trying to um get to know Lauren. Uh, we just started to have a relationship, and Lauren said nothing but good things about her. She said she looked up to Auntie Liz on her dad's side, uh, because you know she's a spiritual guide. Her, she, you know, she did all this, you know, with the community, and she just likes her essence. Then you're gonna dog her out, talking about you just getting to know her. And you pretty much said the same thing for Portia, but you didn't really address her. So I guess you don't know Portia either. But guess what? That is your. <laughs> your niece that your brother set up here and popped it right well had diana pop it wide and spread it and he uh put his firm in her and made a child do you recognize a girl do you recognize that's your niece okay your niece both of them are your nieces so get to know them get some respect for you and for them and get off television okay because i don't ever want to see you on any type of platform again because i'm gonna be rubbing it in your behind as much as i can because like i said you're a double-minded woman you want to be in this religion then you want to go participate in this religion then you want to say something about the other person's religion we don't even know what religion you belong to okay moving on from her because i'm sick sick of her okay then we're gonna go to um let's see here <sighs> let's see 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 but let's talk about uh Oh, what's her name? God, dog it. Portia's aunt on her mama's side, Miss Darlene. Out there, she had, they were going through, uh, they, like I said, it was in the water grave, trying to uh, release their uh, bad thoughts about people themselves or uh, just situations in life. They were going through and they did that stick shit again, passing the stick, shaking and conjuring up stuff. And they gave the stick to uh, Darlene, uh, which is her sister uh diane's sister and she going around there talking about her feet she she just come into the well well let me go back it was a scene at the table when they were all expressing themselves and uh lauren had the spiritual guru there and they were just talking about releasing uh you know just things they didn't like about themselves or other people and just you know making sure 
you know, they, they, they understand where it came from and try to move forward like a normal state type situation. Get the shit off your chest and move on. Don't think about it no more because it's in the past. Just worry about the present and the future, okay? But um, they, that, that helpful got up there talking about, uh, we think she going to say something like, you know, she, you know, she made some mistakes along the way, uh, whether it was on herself, whether it was a family member or whatever. That, that helpful got up there saying her feet. Her feet has always bothered her because people picked at her and when she was younger said she had big feet or a, a nasty looking feet or something. And that just, you know, had a bad uh, dealing with her spirit. And it, it really made her feel lacked of uh, a lesser than. And we all look at that like, what the hell is you talking about? Did you just enter in another plane of existence? Did you just leave us for a few minutes? Because right now we were talking about real shit. We were talking about folk getting on our nerves and then our family and we can't stand them. We talking about shit like that. Are you talking about some feet? Oh, my God. And me and my daughter just fell out on the sofa like, what the hell is going on? And I just told my daughter, I think she's on, uh, she's drinking. <laughs> she she really needs to leave the sauce alone for real. Because I don't even know where that shit came from. Then she started crying and I didn't want to put it on bipolar. I just said she was drunk. She was drunk as hell. Okay, she had got her one of them little canisters. Um, what do you call them things, y'all? Flask. That's what you call them, a little flash. So she must have took her a little swing, a drink or something. I don't know what the grandmama and Portia mama and her aunt, uh, her aunt on her mama's side got going on. But they need therapy. They, no, let me take it back. They need Jesus. Okay, that's all I'm saying. They need Jesus. And uh, they need to repent for all their sins. And, and they need to see some therapy. Because God put people on this earth too to help us along the way. When we need somebody we can physically hear, see, and touch. So we have good therapists out there. And I say every last one of them that was sitting at that table, they need therapy. Okay, we're going to just we're gonna get rid of Esther, which is the friend of Diane and then their their family. We're going to get rid of, uh, Lon not London, we're going to get rid of uh, Lauren, the assistant, Dom the assistant uh, and who else else was there that I can't think of at this time they need to 86 day self out the situation so we could just deal with the shit that we got going on right now but uh, th then they had to seem like I said they was at the water grave trying to cleanse their spirits they souls whatever it was they were trying to do okay uh, she meaning Darlene again uh, Portia's aunt on her mama's side she started saying, you know, she apologized to everybody and how she had it before and this, that, and the third. And then she got the uh, saying she, she uh, apologized to her daughter because she wasn't always there, wasn't always present. Because she was trying to build her empire, her business, and she wasn't always there for her daughter. So she asked her daughter uh, to forgive her and she wants to move and make a, you know, a better, fresh start with her. And I thought that was cute and her daughter was uh, kind of receptive this time because she had shut her down the other time when it was having dinner. Her, she started talking about her damn feet and stuff of that nature. So I would have shut her down too. Hell, I would have walked out. I was like, uh uh. <laughs> I don't know what the hell going on with my mama. But my mama lost her damn mind. Ain't no sense y'all put me on TV to get my reaction because y'all had the same reaction I did. Why is she talking about something so trivial, so unimportant at this time? we talking about real life, real things. She's talking about her damn feet. Okay, but moving on from that situation. Um, she was saying that her and her daughter never really gave each other real loving hugs. You know, like you just feel the love when you hug somebody and just feel their energy or whatever, you know, whether it's positive or negative. Hopefully it's positive. And, um, you know, they were encouraging Storm, which is her daughter, to go and hug her mama. You know, because her mama seemed like she was, you know, really needing that, that, uh, touch, that feel that uh warmth from her daughter so her daughter like okay whatever you know she got up went and tried to give her mama a hug her mama looked like she was catching the holy ghost oh how do woo, woo, yeah thank you Jesus. Thank i'm like the girl hadn't even got a chance to hug you and you're gonna fall out like you received the holy ghost girl i'm like nah them demons don't jump out that water into your ass and you just you just made a whole debacle bit a debacle meant out of everything you just whatever you had said to your daughter it went out the window and she just went like okay see that's what i'm talking about and she went back to the wayside so i you know i ain't got no problem with storm because when you have a mama that's acting up like that for the cameras or she really act like this in real life you don't want to be you really don't want to be associated with her so i on my only thoughts with storm is you know you kind of acting arrogant uh you kind of acting selfish and stuff like that but i see where it's coming from 
broken family broken home so that's why you're broken so i you know i solicit that you go get some help yourself and pray and ask the lord for discernment so you don't have that type of rocky attitude where everything's just so uh tense for you and you feel like the world is against you and you always have to be in attack mode uh but no don't sell your body don't get into this t entertainment business where you got to look a certain way act a certain way and you might have to do some strange things for this change up in here don't be like your cousin Portia because really all of y'all are broken and I blame you know the mamas of you all and probably have to go back a little further and blame their mothers because sometimes when you know better you do better and it ain't no sense of Diane not knowing better and, and and trying to get her daughter some psychological help as well because everybody need therapy here and there ain't nothing wrong with therapy even though I know Sean on in the black community and they always think you know we need the lower and yes we do we need them all day every day every second of the moment of our day <clears throat> but like I said he gives people to us in physical mode that we can physically see touch and hear you know right in front of us that is talking like you know they got good sense especially if you already are spiritually inclined and you know what's good and what's bad um and you have that discernment to uh watch people's behavior and see if they're good or they for you or against you okay but uh yeah that's all that i can't really get on storm anymore because her mama don't act up twice so she's only reacting to what she's seen you know in her little life because she has more years ahead of her than she have behind her so hopefully she can get it together if she do the right thing and get off this uh media social media well not social media but because she can be a great correspondent or doing something else where she don't have to sell her soul to the entertainment business and do ratchet shit like this but we'll see we'll watch because right now she's really looking like portia williams mini me really is she, she's like she totally adapted Portia's look or mannerisms and all that kind of stuff and I can understand what Lundy was saying you know you need to be your own person you need to stop faking you need to stop doing this that and third but you know Lundy is, is um, pretty much only seeing the side of what she was brought into which she was on the Jose Williams family side she was born over there on that side so she knows a lot about the legacy uh about respect and the perfect way you want to let people see you in the public and behind closed doors you want to be that same person you want to be transparent where whatever we see out on the outside and when she's out and about in the community is the same thing we're gonna get behind closed doors she's just one way period and so i believe she got that but she still has some um, animosity towards uh portia williams mother side of the family because she called them country bunkin so you you can't even imagine how uh jose williams side of the family including elizabeth because she's like the matriarch now uh that speaks for the family when it's anything dealing with charity work for the jose jose williams organization feed the hungry and anything deriving as far as trademarking and you know people wanting to use the likeness of her dad and you know any type of form setting you know you have to go through her but you know like i said they probably talked so bad about diane which is portia mom that they really didn't bring them into the fold because they felt like and i'm only guessing that portia mom was an opportunist okay but I can see Lundy, a uh, Lundy wanting to be on television, you know, because Lauren's on television with Portia, but she got some some sad things to um, go through too, because she feels or she feels the energy from Portia that you had what I should have had, but your your our dad didn't stay with my mom. He had to go shack up, marry, and start a new family with your mom. And you know, I don't even know if Portia ever ever spent the night over with lauren when they were little i'm guessing not as uh because they would have been much closer when she came on the show than how they appear to be uh <laughs> but now lauren's just trying to find her way it seems like she wants to be in the entertainment business but only thing that's gonna hurt lauren she has a good heart okay and she likes the limelight but she don't want to sacrifice her beliefs her feelings to gain the dollar and be seen in an unpositive light like they're trying to expose the uh issue on her now 
uh, uh, create a storyline on her that her and Dennis may be actually uh, hooking up behind the scenes, which I really don't think. It, is it plausible that they keep spending time around each other? Things cannot transpire like that in the future. Possibly so, because she has nobody, and he really has nobody, because he's a you know a, a honest, eligible bachelor. You know he and he like women. He loves women. So who's to say if she's feeling bad one day, he's around her. He feeling bad. They don't have a few drinks. Shit can't happen. Okay, because it's lust out there, and when you put alcohol. It takes you out your demeanor depending on how much you conceive of it. And lust is there. And sin is there. And we ain't nothing but flesh. So if they yield to that fleshly side, then shit gonna happen. And then we're gonna see the fallout. Because somebody ain't gonna keep their mouth shut. Or somebody gonna tell somebody that's gonna tell somebody in the media. And it's gonna get out. Okay, and then Porsche gonna have a field day with that. But they are already having issues. Um, her and um, Portia. Lauren and Portia because when they were going through this tabletop, no, they was at the um the river with the dead souls in it. Uh, she they wanted um Elizabeth being messy. Uh, so I'm, well, you need to take your time. You need to express your feelings. You need to take the shocker stick and, and tell us what's on your mind so you can release it and leave it here. Okay. I'm like, when did we start doing that? I thought we could do our confessions to the Lord, Elizabeth. I thought we didn't pick up no shocker sticks. But since you're trying to say she's in this new age religion, you're trying to throw the shit back in her face on a sly way. I caught that. Didn't like that, Elizabeth. Didn't like that. Okay. And you're supposed to be a Christian woman. But anyway, moving on. Uh, Lauren had confessed that, you know, what was weighing heavy on her mind is that Portia never treated her, uh, like she had anything of value to offer to the, uh, uh businesses that they had, um, formed together, that naked, uh, go hair business. She, and Portia was looking all stupid, like, oh, uh, you know, you, you know, and she was saying in her confession, oh, you want to take it all out on me because you ain't got nothing going on. And now you want to blame me for you ain't got nothing going on. I'm like, no, nah, boo, she helped you. Okay, she, she, she was your assistant. You probably didn't pay her like shit or whatnot. And it was all about you, you, you. And it's almost kind of like that bodyguard movie that Whitney Houston played in. Um, and her so-called sister was jealous of her and was saying she had everything. I have nothing, even though she had talents, but it got overshadowed, uh, by being around the bigger star, which was Whitney at the time. And I see the same thing going on with Lauren and, um, Portia, you know, Portia has it all. She seems like she has it all and she kind of wanted that lifestyle for herself. And she kind of felt like she didn't know where she belonged. And, you know, she was upset about that. But I'm like, Lauren, you know, it seems like you found your true self. I think you should be a yoga instructor. Uh, do stuff like that because you seem to have a good head about that. I don't, I wouldn't say that I would practice that as a religion because I just don't get down with that. And I have my own reasons for that. But uh, I could see you doing something holistic and things for the community to help people see their lives in a different way. You know, like a help or advocate for, you know, someone else in the community that's struggling with mental health and stuff of that each uh, issue. So I can see you being a little social worker or something like that, but you gotta, you know, make up your mind whether you want to be in this entertainment world or do you really want to do something to advocate to help others. So that's something you really need to figure out. Um, no shame in your game. Continue doing you and work on yourself before you can work on other people because when you're broken, you can't help other broken people because you're not, you haven't really got over what is, um, affecting you as a human being so broke people can't help broke people okay we need you to be on one whole accord be able to share your story tell your story and help somebody else with it but we need to see more growth and maturity in you as well so that's all i got to say for lauren um let me see uh <laughs> tennis he was a uh, just a crap pot up in here once again <laughs> But it wasn't a Dennis show today. It wasn't, it was more Elizabeth cutting up on me than I could see Dennis. But Dennis, you know, he was being a man as usual. Portia can't change him just like she ain't going to be able to change um, 
Simon because Simon looked like he's a narcissist going on he's you know he's very uh persu persuasive and he's dominant and he he's letting Portia know what she should do but Portia ain't trying to tell him what he need to be doing okay so they can be equal on certain uh playing fields of what they're uh enduring together or enduring together um Dennis was I uh, had you know didn't like certain things and he was trying to tell other people when he got his little stick when he was at uh, the um the graveyard with the souls and stuff in the water you know he, he you know and then he was really confessing them really the whole time he's been there in, in mexico that you know portia family's fucked up you know what i'm saying they, they just do too much it be everybody be getting in the business and it should only be about Portia and what he feels and the rest of them just got to deal with it which he's absolutely right you don't bring everybody into your uh your situation when you know it's messed up in the first place the only understanding that needs to be understood and taken care of is how we're going to go forward in a relationship or how we're going to go forward into making sure our daughter's good and I can spend time with her and Portia can spend time with her and we really need to evaluate this situation on if I'm going to be with somebody on a permanent basis and you're going to be with somebody on a permanent basis. We both need to be able to meet them, feel them out and discuss, you know, issues that we have with the mate that we've chosen to be with. You know, and that's it. There ain't no blending families, no none of that. You know, maybe it might work for other cultures and, 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 and uh, races, but. I've known in the black folk race, or at least my race that I can talk about, because I'm living it every day. No, <laughs> it's very few and far between. We're going to have exes up in now when we don't move down. Coming to any type of function that, you know, we have in our family. So, it's like once you get divorced, you are divorced. We'll speak, we'll be casual, all that. But you, coming to fam family gatherings, no, 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 no. You could possibly come for graduation birthday celebrations you know whatever the kid feels they want or they need from either or parent then we try to definitely you know throw our feelings our distance aside and let our daughter or son be the main focus but other than that no 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 that just don't happen don't happen okay um we got dennis you know he's uh t having lunch or bre breakfast with uh Simon, and they they are very cordial towards each other. I, you know, and he goes on to say, you know, he don't like a lot of things that has been happening, but you know, Portia trying to blend, but we only need to be blended between us, meaning them, uh Simon, Portia, and Dennis. That's the only thing they need to be blended in. They was on one accord with that. And, you know, Simon was trying to say, you know, your mom don't need to be in too much things. And he didn't disagree. Like, you yeah, know, you're right. Uh, you know, I've been working on that with her and letting her know this is my business. Ain't your business. You know, work on just your relationship that you have with your granddaughter and just trying to be cordial with the mama. That's all you need to be concerned about. Then Dennis was like, well, can you do me a favor, man? Could you uh, let Portia know I'm bringing a, a female friend companionship for the remainder uh, duration of this trip because you know I, I don't want to be sitting up in a room and I don't want to be around y'all all the time we, we don't I mean, I'll try to be there for some of the you know techniques and, and tools we need to work as far as parenting and just being in the midst of each other when we really don't want to be in the midst of each other but just trying to be cordial I can learn some of those techniques I'm down with it that's what I'm here for the betterment of me and Portia's relationship and my our daughter you know and how that makes you look into the paradigm we're going into and he was like yeah, yeah yeah okay okay i understand i understand and you know simon was saying that um he definitely gonna get his stuff back to dennis because you know he's good about packing up uh past relationships and making sure they proper to get to where they need to be and he's taking a shot at fallon i like that was poor taste so if he talked about fallon he's gonna talk about portia to somebody else okay but uh i'm sure dennis caught all of that he might give uh portia an earful later on down the road uh, i don't know if it'll make it in uh hopefully the last episode we gotta see uh which is next sunday um but you know they they were having a good man conversation and i could uh agree with it 100 percent. but this helpful of a man he didn't tell portia nothing about dennis was bringing a uh a companion for the duration of the trip didn't say one hell of a beans to portia about it. she had to find out 
through her sister that he had brought somebody and that just pushed push Portia buttons push Portia buttons and she was just being hell of a disrespectful toward uh his mother which leads us into what's coming up hopefully as the last um episode of season one because i don't know if any of us can take this shit no more it ain't nothing but a well like i said it's it's already going down to being crashed and burned and it's gonna be on fire meaning literally Portia gonna be done really damage every relationship she could possibly have in our eyes with reconciling with her family because she's broken on both sides and the peach is just gonna have to grow up in this uh debacklement of a relationship because they don't care about doing anything um to help their situation they just want to blame 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 and that's on both sides and no resolution is coming up on repairing those hurt feelings that were happening when she was a child and then growing up in teenage years and growing up to adulthood her mother didn't do a good uh uh her mother and dad i should say didn't do a good job as making sure portia knew more about her dad's side of the family and then her mother's side of the family okay because you know by you being a mother you gonna always be close to your mother's side of the family first and foremost especially if they showing you love and then you have to go and make that extra effort that your daughter is definitely being around her dad's side of the family if y'all have a good rapport and if y'all don't have a good rapport then it's between the grown-ups to come to some agreement that you know uh i need my daughter over here so she can learn more about my side of family not just your side of the family uh and you know somehow they come to some realization and make out a schedule uh, of that make you know happening because that's more so for the child to understand and if the child gets old enough and don't want to be a part of that family because they may not be showing the type of love that they should be showing that she feels at the mother's side of the family, then that's another conversation for both parties, uh, adults to have. Because you want the, the child to always feel like each family member on each side loves her just as much as the other family side. You know what I'm saying? Kind of what PJ is getting into. But I don't know. I really don't think PJ would definitely know anything about her uh, mother's dad's side of the family. Because they don't look like they're trying to know anything about Portia. And not really too much about Lauren either. Uh, if you weren't born from Elizabeth and her other siblings. Then they don't know of you. I mean they don't know you. They just know of you. Okay. that's At least that's what I got from it. Um, let me see. When they were down there in that little um, water part thing they were doing with the lost souls and stuff of that nature gina had expressed many dennis mom that she was sorry she you know she pretty much uh offend, offended anyone with what she said verbally she you know please forgive her she's working on herself and uh when it came to portia's time portia said she ain't forgiving nobody uh she ain't she ain't at that point yet that she wants to forgive nobody and that's what she feel about it <laughs> like portia why are you here why are you here baby why are you here okay you should have just did not show up like you didn't show up on that one they had when it was just um what it, who it was it was just uh dennis uh auntie liz lauren and lundy you didn't show up for that either so you were trying to do something with head crack and a dish nation or something or you were asking him something about some products that you needed to have so you weren't interested so how can you get on dennis about not being interested about you know doing better for his daughter and trying to help a blended family when you're not even showing up for events he's showing up for more events than you are and you're the one complaining so that was just mind-boggling to me and then simon had called himself telling portia she need to give back all dennis's stuff she need to pack it up and send it to him she ain't know what to say because that came out of love feel and you could say see it in all her demeanor her mannerisms that she didn't like it but she was like okay like she was you know listening to uh cordell her first husband and when he said he wanted something to happen she needed to do it quick fast in a hurry and that's pretty much how um simon was telling her she needs to do okay but he ain't doing what he needed to do when dennis told him to tell portia he got somebody coming 
of uh, women's persuasion. And he's sitting on that laughing or smirking, thinking, you know, uh, he it, it's going to be a showtime. He ain't going to be missed in the midst. He's just going to watch it all unfold. Uh, and I was like, that's just a piss poor of a man in Portia. Why are you even putting yourself up like that for this man? Okay. But that's all I had for this uh, particular video. Um, but yeah, I didn't like that. Like I said, that water thing they had them at. It was some kind of old ruined ritual Mayan site where all the dead people were buried there in that water or something to that effect. It was called the Maya Sacrifice Underworld. And when I think about the Underworld, child, I'm be thinking about Hades hell. You know, down there with Satan and his folks that didn't do right. And that's where they ended up. Why, Miss Elizabeth, Jose Williams daughter why would she go and participate in that you see what i'm saying she's a double-minded woman and when you got somebody double-minded like that you don't need to be around them okay because they can convince you to do shit you didn't think you would do you see what i'm saying like you know oh i just i didn't like it i didn't like it it was just like you know diving in the graveyard and you know lauren i'm like why did you do this to your family what what is the end game girl you want them to have demons attached to them to bring back home and maybe cutting up back and you know back over here in atlanta girl we don't need all that so and then um at the end um when um elizabeth was in her confessional she was talking about lauren like you know she's a poor broken soul in a sense and if that spiritual counselor ever left lauren she don't know what she gonna do she think oh uh, lauren's gonna end up crashing and burning because she don't think lauren can function without her spiritual counselor and i was like see that's piss poor piss poor another another uh train wreck right there you're supposed to be helping and uplifting your niece once again your brother's child your deceased brother's child you're supposed to be uplifting her guiding her giving her strength okay and being a confidant versus saying oh she ain't gonna be worth shit pretty much that's what that's how i took it she gonna be worth shit without that lady she don't have she's just a fool you know what i'm saying it, 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 i just didn't like it i didn't like it at all but that's all i have it's a little long but you see i can you know i was a little long-winded because i was a little upset about some scenes and that people gonna do anything for this dollar so i really think it was just a money grab for elizabeth of Portia because Portia's always seems like she's trying to impress that side of the family which she shouldn't be trying to impress nobody but herself and making you know ethical type money where it's not demeaning and it's not making her look so degrading and and stupid and like she ain't got no sense even though people saying she's smart she doing this um she put money in that bank she got more money than you just that and a third you know she might do but you know what at least I could say I'm respected all right, you ain't going to see me one way and act in a different way, you know, in another way. I'm transparent, okay? And I'm not getting on no TV exposing my flaws. I ain't going to be exposing my family flaws because it ain't nobody's business, okay? We're not finna do that. And as you can see, Kenya Moore didn't do it. Uh, Candy Burris did it to a certain extent. Um, let me see who else that I can really say. Um. Uh, Phaedra really didn't do it. She was trying to secure her family as much as she could. Her boys, at least. Um, Deshaun Snow, which was one of the first housewives that was married to a retired NFL player. She didn't like where it was going because the stuff that she was trying to show, her spiritual side, her paying tithes, her being a religious woman, her helping the community, building up a community, not tearing down people. Uh-uh. Bravo didn't want that. They said, oh, hell no, you got to go because you, you too goody goody. And that was her essence. But see, they didn't want that. And I can admire people like Deshaun Snow, Snow to say, uh -uh, I'm not going to sacrifice my my life, my spirituality, just for some uh, few moments of fame and fortune. And it comes crumbling down because we're not aligned together. And I can appreciate that. And I said, well, damn, that's good, 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 girl. And I'm thinking... She's doing very well. Very well without all this hoopla and entertainment business and how they make you look uh, to make them money. Whether it makes you be in a flattering light or not. And usually it's not going to have you painted in a good flattering light. They're going to have you uh, painted unflattering. And you're just going to have to live with the downfall. Okay? But that's all I got for this video, guys. If you like it, love it. Come back for more. You can do that by definitely subscribing to the channel, hitting that notification button 
bell button and knowing when I drop down new videos. And you can do me a favor every time you walk through the door before you even venture on the video. Hit the like button, okay? Because it's going to be something that you can use, news you can use, or you can just get those gems I'm talking about through my own personal experience of people that I know went through some stuff. So y'all won't have to go through the same pitfalls that I had to come to sometime in my life where I knew some good people that had to go through some things to be at a certain level, positive level that they are at now, okay? Because through experience will be a great teacher if you let it teach you and not you know make you feel like uh, you're a failure and you just don't get up from that situation you just stay down like a doormat people just continue to walk over you and on you but um, definitely share my videos that can help as well and I'll see y'all next time bye